is Sports Center. Hello class, we're Team Good Enough. I'm Nebby Amamo. I'm J.R. Marshall. And I'm Edvaldo Ferreira. And we're here today to present a societal impact to you. Um, we have a couple of articles that we found in the Sports Business Journal that we hope you like. We're here to talk about LeBron James, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, and many other stories as well. In an article from the Sports Business Journal called The Numbers Don't Lie, when LeBron signs the local RSN wins, it talks about a rare athlete who can affect the business fortunes of an entire television channel. When he moved to the Lakers, their game casting channel, Spectrum Sportsnet, raised their advertising price to $14,000 instead of $7,000 for one 30-second spot. When he, was with the Mi when he was with the Miami Heat, their ratings increased 96%, but when he left, they decreased 60%. Even before LeBron James came into Los Angeles, there was already one big superstar already there in his midst. Famous soccer uh, superstar Zlatan Ibrahimovic came over to the LA Galaxy uh, instead of playing for Man United. In his first game with the LA Galaxy, Zlatan Ibrahimovic scored in less than two minutes into the game and also scored a game winner uh, to end up winning the game against uh, one of the MLS uh, top teams. In a recent statement said by Brendan Hahn, Vice President of Marketing and communication and digital um, for the LA Galaxy. He said that I think Zlatan is the biggest player since David Beckham from a marketing standpoint. And from a marketing standpoint, the Sports Business Journal stated that Zlatan broke club records and sponsorship revenue. He broke ticket season renewal percentage and overall growth ticket percentage as well. And those were all records set by David Beckham in his debut season with the Galaxy. And he is also, uh, Zlatan has also um, had the top selling jersey in the MLS right now. And as a final note, Zlatan, um, when he said, uh, um, when he uh, announced that he was going to be playing for the Galaxy, he said, Dear Los Angeles, you're welcome. Because he knew his impact would automatically change Los Angeles for um, a long time until he would retire. In the Sports Business Journal, an article stated that um, the FBS was being challenged to improve diversity hiring. And in that article, it gave overall grades of gender and racial hiring, and as well as percentages for percentage of ADs and uh, presidents that were um, of color or diverse. And the grades that were given um, for racial hiring in 2017, it was an overall grade of a D plus. But then in 2018, it grew up to a C. It didn't grow up that much, but still, that was still growth. And in gender hiring in 2017, it was an F, and in 2018, it stayed an F, so no change happened there. And the overall grade in 2017 for racial and gender hiring was a D minus, and then in 2018, it grew up to a D. And then out of the 130 football coaches, in the FBS right now, there are only 19 of color. And th th this information is all given by the Institute of Diversity in Sports, other otherwise known as TIDES, and the uh, University of Central Florida. I apologize. 
And 14.6% 14 of school presidents are people of color. Even though that grew 3.8%, that's still a very low number right now. And 16.9% of school presidents are women, which grew only 1.5% from last year. And 15.4% 15 of ADs were people of color, and that dropped 1.5% from last year. And 9.2% of ADs were women. Even though that grew 3%, that's still less than 10% of women. And then 14.5% of head coaches were people of color, and that only grew 1.5% from last year. So overall, the FBS isn't doing that good of a job uh, with diversity hiring overall. So I would say that the FBS um, needs to um, make a stand and um, control their, or make a stand and make sure presidents or people hire um, up in the, um, well, food chain, I would say, should uh, fix down and uh, make sure um, coaches are in color and everything like that. Okay. So according to the Business Journal, one impact that sports has on society is the job that Omaze is doing to raise money for charities. So Omaze is a for-profit online fundraising platform that now has a sports strategy and team dedicated to creating sports center dream, dream experiences that raise money for social causes. So how it works. Omaze joins with athletes, teams, and leagues that want to raise money for charity by offering them a chance at a dream experience. So this includes like, for example, having ice cream with Tom Brady or like appearing in the this is Sports Center commercial. So, entry starts at a $10 donation, but the larger the donation one makes, the larger the chance of like getting picked and winning a random drawing for the experience. The strategy was to raise money, and they've raised over a hundred million over the, the the last five years to support the work of more than 350 charities. Five million of that is directly related to sports. So, based in Culver City, California, Omaze was founded in 2012 by CEO Ryan Cummings and Vice Chair Matt Polson. Omaze's relationship with NBA as an approved vendor allows teams to use Omaze to amplify fundraising efforts for their foundations. Last year, they worked with um, Jalen Mills, which is a with who is a cornerback for the Philadelphia Eagles. And the work with Jalen Mills included a tour of the team's practice facility, a hangout with Mills, a sideline access to the season opener, and an autograph gear. The money raised will go towards the Jalen Mills Foundation, which is dedicated to the holistic development of low-income and inner-city youth athletes. The company has also worked with prominent and current prominent current and former athletes like Brady, Cristiano Ronaldo, and David Beckham. Even Omaze's competitors, including Charity Buzz, Prizio, and If Only, have commented on the issue. They said that what really sets Omaze apart from the competitors is their creativity and the uniqueness that they look for. If there's a video to be shot or social media copy to be written, Typically, Omaze will provide the most of all of that. How big is LA becoming? In my opinion, I think LA be is becoming very big now in today's society. In today's society, you see, um, you see Zlatan and LeBron already over there, and those are two of the biggest names in sports right now. Zlatan being on the soccer side, and LeBron being obviously on the basketball side, but also. Um, in the near future as well, LA is also having the Olympics too. So that will be the first time, I don't know how long in a while the US has hosted the Olympics, but the fact that it's being in LA now and the fact that LeBron is already there and the fact that Zlatan is already there, already creating revenue and marketing for the city is already becoming a big thing for them. And um, LA, LA 28 uh, changes um, and commercial dynamic for like, um, 
the USOC. So because of the 2028 Summer Games, the USOC's commercial operations will closely be folded into the LA's uh, organization, organization committee and will mostly be folded into LA's um, organizing committee, making it harder for the um, US OC to um, grow its revenue and fund the additional costs. Um, so that will be generated in unique forms and um, should really just boost LA overall because the Olympic Games are obviously one of the biggest um, games in sports. Hello class, that was our video on societal impact. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, we're Team Good Enough on Nebbia Mimo. I'm J.R. Marshall. And I'm Ed Ferreira. And we hope you have a good one. See ya.